How's it going guys? I'm back here in St. George after an awesome trip around LA. So lately I've been thinking about doing tutorials about all of the workouts I perform at the gym. So today we're going to be talking about squats and I'm actually going to give you a few tips that might improve your performance uh, while squatting. And so stay tuned and check it out. Lately I've been trying out new gyms here in St. George because you know sometimes the same gym just gets old so today we are here at Desert Palms I don't know if you can see the name but I'll show you how it is inside it's called Desert Palms and we'll see how it goes can you make me feel like a rebel but I will not give you a reason to this Alright guys, so as I said earlier, we're going to be talking about squats and I'm going to give you a few tips to improve your performance. So let's get to it. First of all, I want to let you know that you can squat only using your body weight if you don't have a membership. I personally prefer to use weights in order to stimulate hypertrophy. So let's talk about gear first. When I'm squatting, I prefer using the Olympic lifting squat shoes or at least shoes that have an elevated heel. Some people like using tennis shoes for squats, but tennis shoes actually damage your knees due to the action and reaction forces according to the Newton third law of motion. So when you squat, you press against the floor and the floor presses back against you, producing an energy transfer. So if you are using tennis shoes, you might have noticed that your knees cave in and shake. It happens because with tennis shoes, you lose some of that energy transfer, which will damage your knees. That's why I prefer using the Olympic lifting squat shoes, due to its hard soil and because it improves my ankle mobility. I also use a belt, but I prefer using it when I go heavy. When you squat, it is never a bad idea to wear a belt, to have your abdominal core something to brace against. This helps to avoid injuries such as hernias. Now let's talk about positioning. After you unrack the bar, make sure your feet are square and lined up. After that, make sure you contract the glutes really tight in order to level off your hips. If your hips are not balanced, your knees will start to cave in. Do this right before every single rep. Now, we have high bar squat, which is the most common, and low bar squat. In general, the high bar squat is for people with shorter legs and longer torsos, while the low bar position is generally for people with longer legs and shorter torsos as this will reduce the amount of torque on the torso as they lean forward. Alright guys, so those are the tips I wanted to share with you. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. Hey, what's up guys? So we're here at Tuacan Sari Market and we're here to support Aram and Paul and look at this. 